Aurelia Bioscience is a preclinical contract research organization based in BioCity Nottingham in the UK. In this video, Dr. Gary Allenby will be talking about target engagement compound profiling services offered by Aurelia Bioscience. This technique is compatible with analysis under equilibrium conditions, suitable for a wide range of throughput requirements and a good predictor of cellular potency. So here at Aurelia, we've been utilising the reagents that are available from Promega Corporation in order to look at both nanoluc and nanobret assays in living cells. More specifically, what we've been doing more recently is actually to look at the nanobret technology linked in with kinases. Here's a short animation which will demonstrate to you how this assay format works. We begin with the plasmid cDNA construct consisting of the full length cDNA for the kinase shown in green together with the nanoluc luminescence enzyme cDNA shown in purple on the same cDNA plasmid backbone. This plasmid is transiently transfected into cells using few gene and the cells are incubated overnight at 37 degrees Celsius in 5% CO2. We have used HEC-293 cells in our studies. Cells are incubated overnight to allow the transcription and translation of the chimeric protein consisting of the kinase linked to the nanoluc enzyme. After 24 hours, the media is replaced with assay buffer containing the cell permeable nanoluc substrate shown in red that binds to the nanoluc enzyme generating photons of light shown in yellow that are detected in the Promega Glomax instrument at 460 nanometer. The signal is proportional to the number of photons generated at 460 nanometer. Next we add the tracer. The tracer is a pan agonist that binds to the kinase. This compound has been labeled with a fluorophore shown in blue such that when this molecule binds to the kinase, the fluorophore is brought into close proximity with the nanoluc enzyme and the photons activate the fluorophore shown as a blue to orange transition via a process known as bioresonance energy transfer or BRET for short. The fluorophore emits photons at 610 nanometer shown in orange and this signal is measured within the Promega Glomax instrument. The BRET response is a ratio of the signal at 610 nanometer divided by the signal at 460 nanometer. In practice, both the tracer and the nanoluc substrate are added simultaneously to the cells. The addition of a competing unlabeled compound shown in black results in competition for binding to the kinase active site and the tracer is competed off the kinase moving the fluorophore away from the 460 nanometer photon source and therefore decreasing the breath signal at 610 nanometer shown as an orange to blue transition. This process is a true competition assay on the kinase binding site within cells at physiological ATP concentration and pH. This is the first biophysical technique to profile compound binding for intracellular targets in living cells. With over 200 kinases available, this technology can be used for kinome-wide target engagement between the tracer and the compound for SAR purposes. Using this technology, we can also examine the kinetics of compound binding to and displacement from the kinase under non-equilibrium conditions. At Aurelia, we think that kinase profiling in living cells should become standard practice for lead generation and prioritization to help people develop more efficacious compounds with reduced toxic potential. If you're interested in profiling your compounds, then please get in touch. Here's a recap of the advantages of this technique. Are you looking to screen your compounds against specific kinase targets? Why not get in touch with our team? Follow us on YouTube and stay tuned for more videos.